And these are different socket bayonets, uh, the first two being for the Model 1842 Springfield Smoothbore in 69 caliber, the second one being uh, shortened somewhat. Next is a pattern 1858 or 1855 rather bayonet for the uh, Model 1855 61 63 Springfield. This one has been chromed probably for parade use after the war. This one's actually made by Collins and Company in Hartford, Connecticut. Another variation or sample of the Model 1855 bayonet. Again, this was the most common socket bayonet of the Civil War for the Springfield rifles. This is one for a 4570, which was just a modified 1855 with a socket made to adapt over the 4570 barrel. The next bayonet, this one is dated 1897 and is for the U.S. Krag Jorgensen rifle, the first smokeless rifle adopted by the military. Next we have some samples of the model 1905 bayonet. All made in Springfield. This one made in 1906, a fairly early one. It's a model 1905 bayonet. That's with the leather scabbard. Leather scabbard made by Rock Island Arsenal and dated 1907. Two more 1905 bayonets. And this is with the model 1910 cloth covered scabbard. Uh, this one, particularly being a Marine Corps issue, uh, based on the material and the fact that it's sewn up on the outside and has the dark leather tip. The deal! The reason I like them is that if I ever get any more of any gun, you Bring it back to me if you find a better one. And the last of the American bayonets here is a shortened 1905. This one made at the end of World War I, dated 1918, cut down for use on the M1 Garand rifle, and it's scabbard. Oh, thank you.